Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda. I do natural hair and lifestyle videos. I actually just posted my first lifestyle video earlier this week, so check that out if you're interested. It focuses on how to juggle kids and a full-time job, so if that relates to you at all, please check it out. And if it doesn't, but you're intrigued, again, please check that out. I'm trying to post at least once a week, but may miss here or there because life. So please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Also, please give this video a like because I asked nicely. That was too easy. I'm back with another wash day video. I had said in my last one that I wasn't going to be uploading one this week because I had planned to go to the hairdresser to give myself a break from washing my hair for a week. But with the coronavirus spreading like wildfire in my community, I am not entering any public enclosed spaces. I had also mentioned in that video that I thought my hair needed a protein treatment, so that is on the agenda for tomorrow. I'm going to be using the entire Mish collection with her Strength and Deep Conditioner as opposed to her moisturizing one, but I'm going to be doing a comparison video. I'm going to be comparing the Strength and to the Shea Moisture Manuka Yogurt and Honey Hydrate and Repair protein treatment. I'm gonna do one on one half of my head and then the other on the other, and then I'm just gonna compare the results. Next, I'll walk through the claims so we can see later in the video if they reflect my results. For the style, I'll be doing two French braids going back and then I'm gonna do a twist out on the remainder. I am now seven days post my wash day with the melanin hair care line, and if you can see, it might look like dandruff on camera, but I promise you that is shine and sparkle and just loveliness. First up is the shampoo, her Cleanse Moisturizing and Cleansing Sulfate Free Shampoo. I'm gonna judge this on whether or not it cleans my hair. In one corner, we will have the Mish Strengthen Protein Deep Conditioner. Strengthen is a protein and moisture balancing deep conditioner for all hair types, especially fragile, damaged, and color-treated hair. Strengthen Deep Conditioner increases hair strength, helps reduce breakage, deeply nourishes and revitalizes the hair for better manageability, aids in repairing hair damage, and improves hair elasticity. So I had said in my video last week that I thought that my hair was lacking elasticity, so I'm hoping that it delivers that, and also, of course, the moisture. In the other corner, we will have the Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment with Mafura and Baobab Oils. Repair damage caused by overprocessing. Just one of this intensive treatment helps strengthen by reducing breakage up to 76%, Powered by our reparative proteins and butters, this nutrient-rich strengthening cream smooths naturally, smooths to naturally reinforce and revitalize abused hair fibers. I don't abuse my hair fibers. I treat them like angels, but whatever. We'll see how this thing works. Next, we have her Lavish Leave-In Conditioner. Lavish is a moisturizing and detangling leave-in conditioner that will infuse dry hair with moisture-rich ingredients, leaving hair feeling soft and replenished. Quenched. Quenched is an extra hydrating butter that replenishes and revitalizes dry, thirsty hair. This butter can also be used as a styler to achieve defined and moisturized, moisturized braid and twist outs. Yes, please. To all of this, actually. Just yes, please. I don't want to have dry hair again next week. And I'm going to seal everything in with her polished hair and scalp oil made with argan and jojoba oil. Polished is a lightweight moisturizing oil blend that penetrates the hair strand, soothes the scalp, and adds moisture and a beautiful shine to hair. We shall see. I'm not gonna show it, but I am going to pre-poo with um, a henna extract oil that I showed in my first couple of videos. Wish me luck, I will see you in the shower. Well, I know that. I don't know what that was. So I just did a quick workout, and um, I forgot to mention, I did pre-poo with the oil, as mentioned, but I also used the, uh, what did I use? I used the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Conditioner to detangle my hair because it was a little bit tangled this time. And of course, I did that off camera, and, and then I went and did a little exercise so I could get some steam, and my hair feels very soft. So let's jump into this shampoo. I did this time transfer a little bit into this uh, applicator bottle so I can apply it directly to my scalp. Hair is wet. All right, so I'm gonna apply it in a few places. You don't actually need that much, so once I start rubbing, it's actually going to suds up pretty quickly. Yep. Okay. I'm careful with how I distribute this because I don't want to create tangles, so I don't bunch up the hair. You know what, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm going to have to apply extra to the length. So, 
my ends feel dry, but I don't even know how many times I can mention that my ends are dry. So I just did. So I guess one more time. Okay. Um, this is a moisturizing shampoo, so I do find that you can do a little bit of finger detangling with it. So it doesn't feel as moisturizing as I remembered it feeling. And my hair was really moisturized this week because those products did all the good things last week. But if you look closely, um, you can see my curls are defined. It's defined my curls. I don't know that that's something that needs to happen with a shampoo, but you know, it's better than not defining them. Rinse this baby out. Alright, my hair doesn't feel stripped. I think it feels clean. Let's get in there if we can part this. See how it looks. Now you've seen, I need to see. See? Getting a little, seeing a little bit more buildup on my scalp, so I am gonna go in one more time. Okay, so now for the deep conditioners. I'm gonna split half of my head as I can. Be very difficult, but let's see what I can do here. Oh, come on, big girl. So this is why I'm doing the protein treatment. If you see, it looks like it's maybe that's not what I'm seeing. I'm not an expert yet, but I think it's supposed to just kind of like tuck back in. I'm just not doing that, so. We're gonna do the protein treatment and then I'm gonna do this again and see if it makes any difference. See if it bounces back more. My hands are starting to hurt. Let me strengthen. It's instantly softening. I don't feel any strengthening properties, but I don't know what protein and strength on your hair strands is supposed to actually feel like. I have an update to my 15, what, ride or die natural hair tools. Doing your hair in front of a video camera, you could see a lot more what's going on. Forget the shower mirror. So the finger tangling isn't, finger detangling isn't an issue. It's pretty detangled. So let's just go in with the wide do tooth comb in this one section. All right, no issue. That's either my hair already being detangled or the product. I would say, I would say though it has slipped. I would say it has slipped. Look at those curls. I'm so pretty and witty and detangled. Hello. Let's see. Now we can also see what a strengthened ear feels like. Okay. I love the smell of this product. I love that flesh fresh and linen scent. Okay. It's a lot thicker. A lot thicker. Hello, don't make snapping sounds. Rude. It's less softening. And just to show you the thickness. That's not going anywhere. Size. My hands are also just, I mean, it's drier on that side, but I feel like the product that was on my hand, it just transferred directly to my hair. Also, I just want to comment that it looks like it's um, seeping in here because I know I put a good amount of product on the niche side and you don't see a lot of white. This, I mean, you can't really see it that much. I put a good amount there too, especially that glob that I just kind of put <laughs> in the front of my hair. All right, so we're going to detangle the same section. Okay. Eh, yep, no issue. This one doesn't feel like it has as much slip. I know it's come, it's going through really easily, but just like, again, I, I can't really describe other than that it feels like it has less slip than the other side. Let's wrap up this Chia Pet and go sit under the dryer. It's been probably a couple of hours. Okay, so this shrunk up, oh wow, okay. <laughs> Every time it's like, wow, so soft. They both feel really good. 
And let's see about the bounce back. Is it my imagination or am I seeing it? Nope, I, it kind of looks the same. But it's possible that I didn't need a protein treatment based on what I was seeing. Maybe what I'm seeing is there's nothing wrong with it. Let's see this side. It's really, really, really soft. Does it feel stronger? I don't know what that feels like. Maybe one of these days I will feel my hair and be like, oh wow, that feels really strong. But today is not that day. It feels really soft on both sides. It is gonna be very hard to determine which of these is better. I mean, obviously one of them doesn't have to be a winner, but they feel exactly the same. And it looks like they're behaving exactly the same also. Even in terms, okay, I'd say in terms of shrinkage, this side looks like it's a little bit more shrunken than this, but it's possible that this side is more shrunken than this. I've shown my hair. Oh, that's a little fun curl, look at that. Look at that, hello and welcome. So for the leave-in, I'm just applying it on mass. I'm not separating out. And then I'll put in, I'll put on the cream and the oil when I twist up my hair later. What do I feel once it's going on? Their products are very moisturizing. And as I've said, I felt moisture on day one and as, oof. It's really how it holds up. Make sure I concentrate some on the ends. Well, I've got this comb in my hand, which I just picked up and that's why it's in my hand. Let us do a little detangling test. We're good. We're good. I do miss my last uh, comb through the hair on wash days because I am not doing that for the rest of the week. Oddly satisfying feeling to run a comb through your hair. Okay. Gather one section. Ooh, that's a much easier way to do it. I will be doing that going forward. Just kind of jump in there and just show it who's boss. You are going to separate. You are going to section, rather. Okay. Burr. Again, this one's a little bit harder. <laughs> hair's a little bit more dense. Real dense. And my hair is already shrinking up on itself. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Normally I have music playing in the background when I'm washing my hair, but I don't know the rules around like playing music and I don't want to get sued on my little channel that has less than 20 subscribers and no income. So I will just have to provide the vocal entertainment. The tangling is on point. The detangling is on point. I don't even, I didn't even mean to do this. This is why you shouldn't have put nothing. I'm like losing no hair. That's excellent. Okay. But I was happy to cancel my hair appointment because I actually enjoy being the one to take care of my hair. It's not even a trust thing. Like I just, if my hair, you know, gets all like long and rapunzel -y, I want to know that it's really all me. Next time I see you, I will be sitting down to do a very, very, very quick style, or I will have already styled. Not styled, so I already have already set. I'm in a hurry and kind of on a time crunch. When I say kind of, I mean massively. So I'll be back. twisting up my hair um I tried really hard I focused on how things felt as I was going through this and honestly each side feels exactly the same you can look at the twists on each side this is the mesh side this is the shea moisture side because I'm going to be comparing pretty much everything to my um melon in the hair care wash day because that was just the most moisture I've ever felt my hair feels a little bit dry. I think that the twists are gonna help this week, but I will say like up here, it feels dry and I'm definitely not seeing the shine that I saw last week. We'll see how the twist out looks, but you know, this is what we're working with tomorrow. I will 
take it down when it dries and we'll see how it looks. I'm just gonna turn around. I'm seeing some white flakes in here. We'll see what happens to them. Hey, I'm back and ready to take out my twist. Let's have a look. Okay, <laughs> there's a lot of shrinkage on either side. The twists still look, um, they look shiny and well moisturized. The top actually, it doesn't, it looks a little bit dry, but if you touch it, it's actually pretty soft. I'll take down a couple on camera and then I'll take off the rest and style it and come back. I usually do these so small. Those are the front ones. I am gonna have to fluff these a little bit. It's nice, but I would say a touch less shiny. The twists are all out. I'm going to separate off camera and then come back again. Let me just show you the back. They are well moisturized and shiny. They're really tight because I actually did rope twists and I think that holds the shape a lot more. So I'm finished styling. I'll let you see it from the back as well. I don't know what it looks like in the back, so hopefully it's okay. My hair feels soft, moisturized, and shiny on both sides. If I'm nitpicking, I would say that the Shea Moisture side is a little bit, little bit less shiny but everything feels the same throughout. I would recommend both products. I'm not gonna recap every single product that I went through because I gave my thoughts as I was using them. This and this work pretty much the same way. If you look here, I mean, you let me know if you see any difference, but everything looks uniform. It feels uniform. I mentioned it looks a little bit glossier on this side, but I also have to keep in mind that I started on this side, so by the time I got to this side, I was pretty much done with this process mentally. So I made the twist a little bit bigger on this side and I think that just, I think for that reason, they look a little bit less shiny. So I'm, yeah, I think this is close enough for you to see how shiny they are on this side. And then the bigger ones, they still look good, but they're a little bit less shiny. Overall, thumbs up to the line. These are the best results that I've gotten from the Mish collection. Again, I think it's because when I do a twist out, my hair just retains moisture more. It's just that twist outs take so long, it's so long. So I like this method that I have of doing something with half of my hair and then only having to twist half of my hair because I don't have the patience to twist my whole head. So each time I will try to do like half of it in some kind of braid, bun or whatever it is and just not touch that for the rest of the week. And then I'll do a twist that on the rest and not touch that for the rest of the week. For now, because my hair is so short, it's not sitting on my shoulders. So having a twist out in for the whole week is not an issue. My issue with wearing twist outs out and not wearing it in some sort of updo is that it would rub along my jacket or my sweater or whatever it is because it's winter right now. But again, we will, that'll be a goal when my hair is long enough that I can't do this anymore and feel 100% comfortable. That wraps it up. Next week's wash day, I'm thinking about doing the Cryobotanicals low porosity line. So come back and watch that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And this is now my third product review. So I'm going to see if I can link them up in the cards, but take a look at the other collections that I have reviewed and post a comment below. And I would love to get your feedback. Thanks and have a great day.